Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then of course, welcome. My name is Elise. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you are not new to my channel, then girl, you already know what it is. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for coming back. So for today's video, you guys, I wanted to do a first impression slash review on the recently released L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, as well as the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Now, I have been seeing so much buzz all over the internet on both of these, and I won't lie to you guys, I have already tried this out. I have actually been testing it out for about a month now and I have already formulated thoughts on this foundation. I'll obviously let you guys know throughout the video how I really feel about this foundation, but contrary to this, I actually have never tried out the concealer. I actually just received it in the mail yesterday, and I was actually waiting for this so that I can film a video on both of them at one time, you know what I mean? Kill two birds with one stone, get it all done in one video. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited for this video. You guys already know I'm all about drugstore makeup. I'm all about trying out products that are affordable. I'm a huge advocate for makeup. It doesn't have to be something that breaks the bank, and it should be something that most people can afford. And obviously, drugstore makeup is just that. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to see if the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and Concealer are a pick or a pass, in my opinion, then of course, keep on watching. So I'm actually on Ulta's website, and I'm just going to read some of the claims on the foundation. So first things first, this foundation does have 30 shades and this goes for $14.99. I actually got mine off of Ulta. And about the price, I don't think it's the most. However, I do think it is pricey for it to be the drugstore. Being realistic, this is just $5 away from being $20, which I think is pretty steep for the drugstore. If you were to plop this in a Sephora and you were to put another name brand on it that is like a Sephora known brand, then obviously this would be considered cheap. But because it's drugstore, I just think that it's crazy how drugstore foundations and drugstore products in general are just really skyrocketing in price. All right, and some of the benefits that this foundation says is it has up to 24 hours of fresh staying power, long-lasting foundation with lightweight breathable texture, waterproof, transfer resistant, sweat resistant, and it says it is a medium to full buildable coverage foundation with a natural finish. I got mine in the shade 475, which I believe the name of it is Sun Beige. This is one of their releases from their Infallible line. For those of you like me who had oily to oily combination skin, Pro Matte Foundation from L'Oreal was definitely my jam back in the day. I can't find it, unfortunately. I might have gotten rid of it because it was pretty old. But then I also have here the L'Oreal Infallible. This is the Pro Glow, I think. I found this one in my drawers. I'll be honest, I never reached for this one just because I do have oily skin. I felt like this just made me look hella oily to the point where I just looked crazy in these streets so I usually never reach for this one I still have it in my drawers though so I don't know why but I never really liked this one I did however love the pro matte foundation but it seems like when they came out with this they totally revamped everything it looks like now we got a pump and all that good stuff so I'm excited to obviously test this out for you guys today like I said I already have my thoughts but of course you guys have not seen it on my skin yet so moving on to the concealer this is what we have here now just looking at it at a glance this is so comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape in terms of the way that it looks where it has like this chunky kind of thicker tube and I'm sure that the wand is probably on the thicker side too like that thick wand which I like I actually do like the thicker style wand because I just feel like you get a lot more, less pumps to actually get the job done so I actually really do love that for some reason the packaging here doesn't say what shade I got but I will list all of that down below for you guys oh I totally lied it's up here I wasn't finding the shade but it's up here it says Cashew 365, so that's the shade that I have in the concealer. You do get 0.33 ounces of concealer and you get a full ounce of the foundation as well. So the concealer goes for $12.99, which I do think is pretty steep. It's $13 for the concealer, so that's pretty steep, I think, for a drugstore concealer. However, I will say it looks like you are getting a lot of product. Oh, and also this concealer does have 25 shades, which I think is extremely impressive for it to be drugstore. Usually when it comes to drugstore concealers, they usually lack in the shade variety department. They usually don't give you a ton of different shades, which kind of stinks. But this one said, nah fam, we about to change that. This one has 25 different shades for concealer, which I think is great. So some of the benefits here, it says that it is more than a concealer, full-on coverage and full face wear. It says waterproof, transfer resistant, fade resistant, cover, contour, and shape your face. Completely covers imperfections, minimizes redness and scars. And I think another reason that they do do the bigger type of wands is because that way you can kind of use it to contour and stuff like that. Um, and you can have more space to work with and you're not doing tiny little lines if it was like a tiny wand you know what I mean um it says here this concealer provides full coverage with a flawless matte finish I love me a flawless matte finish so of course I might really like this and yeah I'm interested to see how this works out foundation is very runny so I don't know how full coverage it's going to be. So of course, I'm obviously going to let you guys know, but I just wanted to point that out. I do feel like it's extremely runny. I forgot to tell you guys also, but I have already primed my face. I'll leave the primers that I used down below. 
I'm just going to put it on one side of my face so you guys can see the difference. So I really do like it. This is just one side of my face so you guys can see. But it really did a great job at really evening out my skin tone very nicely. I do think that for me this is definitely a medium coverage. You can probably really build it to full coverage. Which I probably won't do today because being completely honest. I usually don't try to build foundation to full coverage. Because I know it really does take a lot for me because I have freckles. So I just feel like it makes it that much harder for me to really try to get that full coverage look. And usually I don't really even try to go for it anyways. I don't mind when my freckles show through at all. I actually really like them. Um, so I actually like the way that it's looking right now as you guys can see my skin is not looking extremely matte I feel like on my forehead you can still see a little bit of kind of like natural glow which I really like I do think that it, when it says that it has a natural finish that does prove to be very true because it does appear to look very natural I'm really liking that so far so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the other side real quick and then I'll come right back and put the concealer on so now that I've applied the foundation this is how my skin is looking right now as you guys can see I do feel like I have a very natural finish and I will say also with confidence that this is a very lightweight foundation um, I absolutely agree with that point it is actually something that I love the most about this foundation because it really doesn't feel like you have foundation on it's one of those that really feels like like your skin and I love that about this foundation it really feels like it just becomes one with your skin your skin really drinks it in and it just really feels extremely comfortable extremely lightweight and I love that about this foundation all right so now to test out the L'Oreal infallible concealer definitely think I could have gotten away with a lighter color but you know what this might work I don't really like a bright under eye these days anyway so this might work So I got you guys in a little bit closer, but as you guys can see, it definitely seems to be a full coverage concealer because as you guys can see, my freckles are basically gone. And you guys can still see them through on this side with the foundation only, but the minute I put the concealer on, it almost feels like they just totally disappeared because it definitely is a full coverage concealer. I do feel like it's a little bit more hydrating, which I love. I have been all the way here for a hydrating under eye concealer. Just because I have noticed as of late that my under eye area has been very dry. So I have been reaching for a hydrating not too hydrating because I don't like too much hydration either but I have been reaching for a concealer that is full coverage but a little bit more hydrating because it really doesn't accentuate any of my dry texture under my eyes so I really do like the way that that looks guys I really like it I even like the shade and everything I'm also applying a little bit on the chin area and I applied a little bit down the bridge of my nose this is literally the same exact shade of my skin I take the biggest L in the world for like buying the wrong concealer but you know what like I said I actually really do like it despite the fact that it is a little dark for me if I was going to use this to highlight it would never work out but definitely to cover any discoloration I do really like it alright you guys so it is about 12 17 p.m. right now so I am just about to start my day so the foundation is fully set I do feel like the foundation did oxidize just a smidge and I still have the same opinions. I still feel like the concealer is pretty matte and I still feel like I have a very natural finish on the foundation as well. So overall, I really do like the way that my skin is looking right now. I feel like I definitely have a my face but better type of look. I don't feel like I'm wearing a mask. I feel like the foundation is extremely lightweight. Even though the concealer is very full coverage, I still feel like that is pretty lightweight as well. I'm definitely about to start my day. I'm going to be running some errands. I'm going to check in with you guys as the day goes on and I will be back later to let you know how the foundation and the concealer are wearing. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back for a super quick update and this is how the foundation is looking right now. Um, I think everything is kind of looking okay. The only thing that I really have to say is as far as it being transfer resistant, I have my reservations on that because I did touch my face on this spot right here and I feel like all the foundation went with that. So I do feel like it does transfer. The other thing that I wanted to say too is that I do feel like it really oxidizes the minute you get outside. I feel like this foundation looks a lot darker now. I'm sorry if it's super loud, I'm outside and I'm recording on my phone so the quality is not the best. But I did want to mention, it takes for the cars to leave. Are we done? Are we good? Okay, we're good. Like overall, my skin does look really good. I don't feel oily. I actually feel really, really good in terms of being oily and stuff like that. The only thing that I will say is the foundation it did oxidize and it did transfer a little bit here. But other than that, I still think everything looks really, really pretty. I still think the concealer is also in check as well. And I don't think I mentioned the time, but it is 4.30 p.m. right now. So it has been 
a little over four hours with the foundation and the concealer on but other than that i do think everything still looks really really good and i will check back in with you guys later on for my final update all right guys so i'm back with my final update for the night i'm actually exhausted so my eyes are actually bloodshot red i um, mean i actually had to change the scenery as well it's currently 11 53 i have had this foundation on for over 11 hours at this point probably close to 12. i will say that i do like the foundation overall that is my final thought on the foundation like i said i have tried this foundation out for a few weeks now and i have already formulated thoughts on it but i do like the foundation i am oily and usually when i wear a foundation at this point in the day i usually look a disaster like i actually look like a walking grease ball but with this foundation i don't feel that way i definitely feel a little oily i mean i'm not gonna lie i definitely see some oils coming through on my forehead down the bridge of my nose on the crevices of my nose here as well that is very normal for me however it isn't anything that's out of control how it would normally be for my oily skin so yeah those are my thoughts on the foundation as far as the concealer i love this concealer i feel like it is very full coverage and it stays put all day long this concealer has not moved at all and i'm so impressed with that so i did want to go ahead and go on ulta's website before i end the video and just read the claims that it has and let you guys know whether i think that they are true or false by the way if there's an echo please excuse that okay like i said i'm not in my normal filming spot so i feel like this whole end of the video is all jacked up to read a few of the claims of the foundation it says it has up to a 24 hour fresh staying power i wouldn't be able to know that because obviously i'm not going to keep this on for 24 hours i've only had it on for 12 but so far i do feel like it has a good staying power um, so I do feel like that is true long lasting foundation with a very lightweight breathable texture I absolutely agree with that not once did I ever feel like my face is heavy and even though I'm exhausted right now I still don't feel like my foundation feels super duper heavy like I'm not feeling like I need to rip it off my face right now it says here waterproof transfer resistant and sweat resistant I don't agree with that as I told you guys earlier I had this little mishap right here I don't even remember what happened I just know that somehow my hand went on my face and it just really took the, all of the foundation off on this corner right here. And it's been like that. I haven't touched it up. Obviously, I'm not going to. Um, but I do feel like it is not transfer resistant. And then the medium to full buildable coverage. I definitely agree with that. I do like to sport a medium coverage with this foundation. However, I can see how it can get up to full coverage. That If that is the kind of look that you go for. And now to touch on the concealer. It says it's a full coverage concealer. Which I absolutely agree with that. Waterproof, transfer resistant, fade resistant. Agree with that as well. I feel like my under eyes still look real 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 good and real in check mind you this was not the right shade for me this was definitely a little bit too dark for me and i still think it did a great job it says here it covers and shapes your face and it contours i didn't buy one for contouring but i'll definitely be buying one but it does cover really really well and it says covers imperfections, minimizes redness and scars, which I absolutely agree with that. I love the finish that this concealer has. It is a matte finish. However, it's a hydrating matte to me. It's not something that's super drying and really accentuates any texture on your under eyes. If you do have under eye texture that's dry and stuff like that all right so yeah guys to wrap it up i do think that these two are definite picks you're going to want to get these from your nearest drugstore whenever you get a chance because these are really really good i think the drugstore has absolutely stepped it up when it comes to this concealer this is just a hit for me if i have to pick one or the other i'm a, such a fan of this concealer right now i do like the foundation don't get it twisted however this concealer just really kicked it out of the park for me it's so good but yeah overall i do really really like this combination and i would absolutely recommend for you guys to go check it out so that's pretty much it for this video you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel yet girl go ahead subscribe join the family i would love to have you here and yeah guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye